what's good my youtube family you're welcome again to another content don't forget to subscribe and of course turn on the bell notification button so you don't miss any of our updates well in today's video we delve into the recent developments surrounding former south african president jacob zuma and of course the african national congress stay tuned for an in-depth analysis of the anc disciplinary committee hearing and of course the political implications it carries of course let's get right into it the political landscape in south africa is actually experiencing a seismic shift as the african national congress's disciplinary committee prepares for the appearance of its former president jacob zuma Summoned to appear before the committee on Tuesday, Zuma is facing charges of defying the ANC's constitution due to his declaration of support for the newly formed MK Opposition Party, which he now leads in anticipation of the upcoming May 29 election. According to reports, the hearing has generated considerable anticipation, but some argue that the horse has already bolted. Professor Andre Duvenhange, a renowned political analyst, expressed his view on the situation. In an interview with broadcaster Newsroom Africa, he suggested that the ANC leadership had missed an opportunity to act decisively when Zuma first announced his allegiance to the opposition party. Duvenhange highlighted Zuma's strategic maneuver wherein he extended his support to the MK party without formally resigning from the ANC. This calculated move placed on Zuma in a position that created uncertainty within the ANC leadership. Fearing a potential split within the party, they refrained from taking immediate action against him. However, the emergence of the MK party as a mobilizing force within the organization has forced the ANC to consider this position. The timing of the ANC's decision to act is now being questioned as it coincides with a critical period for the party. Recent surveys indicate a declining support base for the ANC with projections suggesting that their victory in the upcoming elections may fall below 50%. Moreover, some polls conducted after the formation of the MK party placed the ruling ANC below the 40% mark. This decline in popular support has compelled the ANC to take action, albeit belatedly. Despite the ANC's apparent readiness to address the situation, Professor Andre expressed concerns regarding the absence of strong leadership from Siramaposa, the president of the party, while he emphasized the need for decisive action and speculated that Ramaphosa might be hesitant to confront Zuma due to the potential implications and internal divisions it might cause within the ANC. Adding to the uncertainty surrounding Zuma's status, the ANC has been indecisive about whether he remains a party member or not. This ambiguity further complicates the disciplinary proceedings and raises questions about the ANC's internal cohesion and ability to enforce its own rules. Jacob Zuma, once the president of South Africa, has now become the leader and public face of the MK party. He announced the formation of this party in December, affirming that his support and vote will be directed towards it. Well, thank you for watching our video. Of course, on the ANC's disciplinary committee hearing involving former President Jacob Zuma. The political dynamics at play in South Africa are really intriguing and this hearing holds significant implications for the ANC and the upcoming elections. Stay tuned for further updates, analysis, and commentary on this and other political developments. Remember to subscribe to our channel and of course, turn on the bell notification button so you can be the first to get notified when we drop a new clip. And if at all you found this particular video interesting and informative, please share it to your friends and family and maybe any other person you might want the person to get updated. 
Of course, we hope that things get better between Zuma and, of course, his former party, which is the ANC.